711. A six year old boy from Connecticut is now covered in burns and bandages after his family says he was set on fire in a horrific case of bullying. Unreal. Karen. The pictures are hard to look at. It, it hurts your heart as a parent. You're just like, how could something like so horrible occur allegedly by another child? So this little boy has second and third degree burns to his face and legs from this attack over the weekend. The family, there he is. We blurred some of it out right there. Horribly burned. Uh, his name is Dominic Crankle, and they say he was in the backyard of their home in Bridgeport playing with other children from the neighborhood when he was set on fire. His family says there was another child, an eight-year-old, who's been bullying him and got into a shed on the property, got access to gasoline and a lighter, and lit this tennis ball that had been soaked in gasoline and called that victim over. The child lit it on fire and then threw it at that little boy. Within seconds later, he came back around the corner on fire, screaming, Mommy, they let me on fire. They let me on fire. I was sick to my stomach seeing him laying in that hospital bed like that. This has happened multiple times with this kid bullying my little brother. Oh, it is so sad. And there are, you know, obviously they brought him all of his stuffed animals there and they're trying to make him feel better. His family says he's got a long, long recovery. You know how bad burns are and how much they can hurt and how painful. Um, he was able to only speak a few words yesterday. It could be days before if they know if he's going to be able to go home and when that could happen. The mother of the eight-year-old child disputes that bullying claim, much more certainly to come on this. It's disgusting. It's just unthinkable that it one child would do this to another, yeah. you know?